Hello, I'm David Melling and I'm the illustrator of Goldilocks and the Three Crocodiles by Michael Rosen. Um, I'm really uh, pleased about this book. It's the first time really that I've properly worked with Photoshop, a little bit of digital illustration. Usually I work tr with traditional tools, uh, watercolour wa um, brushes, etc. Uh, but with this one, I just wanted to see if I could have a go and try something a little bit different in my approach, which I think um, allows me to tackle some of these spreads, some of the images in a bit more challenging way with, uh, when I'm doing it just with, with paint. Um, and I'm really pleased with the result. I, I hope you are too. Um, of course, the stars of the show are the crocodiles, um, which appear here. And I wonder whether you'd like to join me in doing a step-by-step -step of the crocodiles. So get your pencil and paper ready and let's have a go. Right, we're going to start with some eyes and this is Daddy Croc we're doing. So uh, this drawing is a little smaller than I would like just because of the... I'm squashed into the corner of my studio because of the light. Ah. Anyway, two squinty eyes. I'm going to put two lines underneath there as well because he's he's always a bit grumpy, is Daddy. Daddy Croc. I don't know if you call him Daddy Croc or not. Top of his head is like that. Now the top of his snout is a wiggly line which I tend to count, so if you watch what I'm doing, one, two, the third one is round a bit more, you bring the line back up here and curve it round, and that's like his mouth. Then his neck comes down like so. On this side I'm going to bring a line slightly in, which is a bit like his bottom lip. And the line down there is a bit wider at the bottom than the top. Then we have his nice big round tummy. Now on this side, uh, there's going to be, you'll see why in a minute, it's going to look a bit odd. He's gonna, there's going to be a slightly curved line like this. Just past this gap. And... I'm going to do a sort of like a circle to join the rest of it up. And this is, you'll see why now, it's his inflatable beach ball. So his arm comes just above that, that line, if you like, and curls around because he's holding onto his beach ball. And the back of his, back, bottom of his back is there. Now, I'm going to, by the way, I hope I'm not jumping ahead too quickly. If you, if I'm going ahead too quickly, you can always pause the video and, and kind of go back and have a look, but um, hopefully you're good. Now I'm going to count the sort of spikes on his tail here. I'm going to do one, two, three, and then his sort of pointy bit. Slightly all curvy line coming back in. And I'm going to join up to where his leg will be. So what I'm going to do, I'm leaving a gap here, I don't want to draw his leg up and down like this. I'm going to do it at a slight angle. Now, I'm quite near the bottom, so hopefully I can just include it like that. Join that up. And then his foot comes out there, and little toes. And the same with his other foot, uh, leg, sorry. Rather than go there, I'm going to come in at an angle, probably about here. More so, actually. His three toes. Like so. Now, his arm on the other side is behind his body, so he's putting it lean, putting it on his hip, if you like. Like that. Now I'm going to do sort of his body markings, if you like, his textures. Um, so we're going to do this sort of like it's a string of C's. And it comes away from the side edge of his body like this. A little bit tricky. And the same on the other side, but the other side I'm going to make sure that every time the, the C She's going the other way now. It touches his touches the line like this. And go all the way down like that. And 
and that way it just looks like he's move he's not looking you straight on if I quite like that. And some of these half circles down there like that as well. Okay. Then we have the tummy lines. Just to make his tummy look really big. And uh, so we're coming back to the beach ball. The beach ball has a little circle at the top where the, uh, the air goes in, I suppose. And I'm going to have one line like this, a bit like a cross. Yeah. Now I'm going to colour it in with just this pencil, but if you want to use different colours, that will be great. conscious the table is wobbling now. Okay, I'm going to just slightly give a bit of shadow here to make it look like this is leaning against his body. Um, I've noticed up here I've missed his teeth, so there's a few teeth to put in. Now I think he doesn't go to the dentist very often, which is probably why he's grumpy. So he's missed, he's lost probably one or two teeth, so put in however many you want to. Where are we now? Yeah, so I think we're going to do a little shadow at the bottom there. And you know what, just to finish off, I'm going to give him his sunglasses. So I'm going to put one heart top of his head like that, and one a little bit to the side like that. So then we fill these in, because he's wearing them on the top of his head rather than and we do a line, join the line there, and one line there, and one line there. And there we go. That's um, Mr. Croc. Dad Croc, whatever you want to call him. Looking a little bit grumpy. I hope you enjoyed doing that, and I would love to see any drawings you have. And um, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.